Hey guys, Psyche Pikachus here, and welcome back to more Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. In the last episode, we got here to the power plant, and in this episode, look who's waiting for our challenge. I've moved Sandslash into the lead. I think Sandslash is going to be extremely valuable in this fight. Walk up. Oh, also, I highly suggest you save before this fight. Let's go. Can I just say how much I love that Z that the legendary Pokemon in this game have a cutscene with them? Can I just say how much I love that? I'm gonna open up a sword stance here. But, um... Let's go over Zapdos. Holy cow! Uh, that's a problem. That's a problem. Um... Zappers, since you don't have a type weakness to it? That was awkward. That's very awkward. Oh, it used light screen too. I thought that was my light screen. Uh, great. Great. It's just wonderful. <clears throat> I did not know that it had light screen. Let's break through it. Oh, uh, now it's using a physical move. Great. Break through that light screen. Ah, you jerk. Okay. So, I'm getting really distracted in this. Okay. So, I'm gonna go over Zapdos a little bit later, apparently. Because I just want to keep going with this fight. Holy crap. Oh, jeez. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this because my ace in the hole is down. And it was... It's an advantage pinch. It might cry. Thunderbolt. Since you don't... Okay. That's a critical hit. So, Zapdos. With its special attack, Sky High. And its blinding speed with it. Zapdos is a force to be reckoned with. People really like this thing because of how great it does with going attacking with its special attacking front. And I don't blame them. Zapdos is by far one of the most powerful Pokemon we've seen up to this point in terms of special attack. So it's still really good. Oh, come on. There we go. But it's still a very, very good Pokemon. Very solid Pokemon that is very good in terms of special attack and speed. Because if you have this Pokemon right now, almost nothing can stand in your way. Almost nothing can stand in your way in terms of damage output, in terms of going and... Um, Getting the Pokeball... In t Pokeballs? In terms of the Pokemon that can go up against it, it's... Only two weaknesses are not very common. It's Rock and Ice. Because... Uh, rock and Ice... Ice? There, I don't think we've even seen that many Ice-type Pokemon that we can obtain. Because most of those are in Seafoam Islands. Oh, come on. I'm trying to catch this Pokemon, and it's still freaking high. And I can't even hit it. Jeez. But anyway, still going on about it with the... How it is in battle. It is very, very good. As you can see, it actually... As you saw in... Its fight with... Uh, Sand Slash is very powerful. It's, it does very good amount of damage. 
no matter what you do to it. It does a very good amount of damage no matter what you do to it. And it can actually take hits pretty well. <sighs> but this is a legendary Pokemon. It's got a very low catch rate. So using Pokeballs is probably not the best option here. But I've caught them in Pokeballs before. I've caught them in this game, with Pokeballs at least, because the Pokeballs break easier than Saran Wrap. Or whatever's not very... Uh, it breaks easy. The Pokeballs break easy anyway. So, there we go. Pokeball. But, jeez. That damage, yo. Got Zapdos. Really good Pokemon. It's a very, very good Pokemon. Let's see what Pikachu says about it. Pikachu seems... Pikachu is still awestruck about what just happened. Alright. Let's go to the very beginning. Alright. Now, with our new Zapdos in hand, I say we end this off. Why is Pikachu mad at me? Or, I don't even, I didn't even see what it was doing because it was, um, because I was looking at the recording. And I'm totally kidding about, um, ending it off right here. I should probably heal. But, now, we're gonna go to Saffron City and see what there is to see there. That actually took a lot less time than I thought. What really bugs me about those kinds of encounters with wild Pokemon, there's a time limit. As you saw in the corner, there was a time limit of um, how long I could actually go and fight Zapdos for. Why am I going in here? I was like, where's my party? But, um... What was I saying? I thought Zapdos would take a lot longer than that, even though there was a time limit on the encounter. So, let's go through this route really quickly. <clears throat> so that we can go to Saffron City. The next location in our adventure. Now, of course, the guards are thirsty. So... Oh, that tea you have. That looks awfully tasty. What? I can have a drink? Gee, thanks! Glug, glug, glug. Glug, glug, glug. Well, glug. if you want to go to Saffron City, glug. I guess I can let you pass, glug, glug, gulp. I'll share this tea with the other guards working the other gates around the city, too. So, we got our pathway to Saffron City. Welcome to Saffron City, everyone. Oh, that's a nice face to see. Boss said he'll take this town in the name of Team Rocket. That's... Not good to see when we fir to first start off. Definitely not good to see. Hi there! Saffron City belongs to Team Rocket. Is that why they weren't going and showing any tourism here? As always, you want to go into the Pokemon Center. And if I'm recalling correctly... Hold on. Yes, I'm a huge fan of Raichu who came all the way from Alola. Let's trade your Cantonian Raichu and my Raichu. Not me. Not the one I have currently. But we'll evolve one for you. Wouldn't it be great if Team Elite Four came and stomped out Team Rocket? That would be great. I guess the Elite Four has more to do, more has better things to do than that. 
So, remember all the way back when... I probably shouldn't have done that, but oh well. Uh, remember all the way back when I went and picked up that Pikachu from Viridian Forest? This is what I wanted it for. Pikachu is evolving. So, we have a, a Raichu we can trade to that girl for an Alolan Raichu. Alolan Raichu I really like. It's the only electric psychic type Pokemon in existence. Even up till this point. Even up to uh, Generation 8, I think. Learn Thunder Punch. Good job, Raichu. You're going to be traded away. Actually, I can just put you in the bag, can I? Sort by level high to low. But, oh! Let's actually check out Zapdos, though. Let's see what he's got. Zapdos! A neutral nature. Nice! Nice. Drill Peck, which is a really really powerful flying type move. Thunderbolt, which is still a powerful electric type move. Agility, which raises its speed, which it's pretty fast anyway, so why would it need that? And Light Screen. Actually really good at keep getting it more tanky than it actually is. That's pretty good. Chaos, add to the party. Alright. Actually, let's sort the Pokemon Pokeballs again. Pokedex order. Alright. Hi. Let's trade. Zapper? No. I don't want to trade Zapper. Raichu. Level 4. Offer as a trade. Yep. Trade Pokemon. Have you decided? Alrighty then, let's trade. This is actually a really good Pokemon. Psytrees! That's, that's fitting that Alolan Raichu is a Psychic type as well. It's an electric Psychic type. That's pretty fitting. Sent over Raichu! Take good care of Raichu! Nice! Electric Psychic type. Alolan Raichu is electric and Psychic type. It's a wonderful Pokemon that can learn the Psychic from a TM. That actually is really good, yes. So, um... Let's go check out this Raichu. So, this Ra this particular Raichu... Is a Electric Psychic type. It's... Plus Special Defense, Minus Defense. Well, okay, that's not terrible. Thundershock, Growl, Tail Whip, and Double Team. Only knows Thundershock. That's weird. That's actually really funny. And then it knows three stat... Two, two stat lowering moves and one stat boosting move. Okay. But, uh, this Alolan Raichu. Raichu is a very good special attacker. As you guys probably already know from seeing my Raichu fight. This Raichu is an electric psychic type, as I've said. And it is darn good at using psychic moves. It go it's amazing that it takes same type attack bonus from psychic moves as well. And as you guys probably already know from me, I like my psychic types. And Alolan Raichu is everything I want in a psychic type. It's... Deals out massive damage. Oh, whoops. It deals out massive damage. It can take a good amount of damage for special defense. And overall, it's just a really good Pokemon. I really like the Alolan Raichu. I like Raichu, but I like Alolan Raichu a bit better. But I only wanted one Alolan form for um for our travels. That's why I went with Sandslash instead of Raichu. Alright, with that out of the way. Oh, the only bad thing about Alolan Raichu is, as she said, you're probably going to use a lot of TMs on it, on it, because it learns nothing leveling up. 
since it's a stone evolution. What do you have to say? With Self Co under our control, we can sell Pokemon in a, for profit all around the world. We'll be stinking rich. Yeehaw! I can't imagine a female Rocket member saying yeehaw. What do you say, Mr. Psychic's house? So, you know that Psychic TM that the girl was telling us about with the Lonely Raichu? Wait, don't say a word. You wanted this. TM40 Psychic. This is where you get the Psychic TM, and we have a Lolan Raichu right now. You already know, don't you? TM40 is Psychic. It's an attack that may also lower the target's special defense stat. Very, very good TM. 90 power, 100 accurate, really good move all around. And as I already expected, None of my Pokemon can learn it except for Barrier, who already knows it. Who learned it by leveling up. <clears throat> so it's not useful to me, but it can be very useful for like the Alolan Raichu we just got. L my life as a criminal makes me feel so alive. Hi there. We're not going and doing anything with you guys for now. We're just going to go around town, looking at everything that we can. I think there's more items here. Thank you for writing. I hope to see you soon. Hey, don't look at my letter. I was given a PP up the other day as a gift. You know, a lot more powerful, a lot of powerful moves have really low PP. Maybe I should give this one, this, t give one of these those moves to a little more PP. Okay. Copycat is cute. I hear she likes Clefairy, so I'm gonna go show her one, her once I catch it, one. I have a, I have a Clefairy, if I'm recalling correctly. Let me just check that real quick. That's gonna be awkward if I don't. Yeah, I do have a Clefairy. Okay, good. Ow, you jerk! Watch where you're walking! Okay! Whatever you say, random passerby! What do you want? Get lost, you little squirt! Okay. People in this town are so rude when they're in the streets. My daughter loves likes to mimic people. It's rather vexing. In fact, people co now call her the copycat because of her mimicry. Hi! My daughter is so self-centered. She has vi- she has but a few friends. Maybe she'd mellow out if, a little if you show her a Pokemon she likes. <clears throat> There's a random Chansey there. Hi there! It's a Clefairy plush. Looks like it has been played with a lot. Hi! Hi! Do you like Pokemon? Uh-oh. I just asked you. Uh, no, I just asked you. Huh? You're strange. Hmm, quit mimicking... But it's my favorite hobby. Oh, I get it. I have to have Clefairy in the front of my party. If you couldn't guess, she likes Clefairy. Because she's got so many Clefairy in her room. Clefairy dolls in her room. Oh, it's you! Are you here to let me mimic you again? You have a Clefairy with you. Do you want to show it to Copycat? Yes. Oh, wow! A real-life Clefairy! I've never seen one before! If you go in Mount Moon, then you can see it. Thank you so much. You know what? I'll give you this TM that m lets your Pokemon create a copy of itself. TM07 Substitute. This is a fantastic TM that allows you to create a decoy by spending HP. Yeah. So. Oh, nice little duo, though. Pretty mirror like me. How? See how pretty I can be. What? What? Okay. I don't know what that was about, but okay. So, um... These guys don't care that I actually showed their daughter the Pokemon that she wants to see. Eh, okay. Now to find Chaos again. Alright. So, exploring more of the city! Hooray! 
But TM0608 substitute. I need to go over that TM. So, you spend a quarter of your HP in order to create a copy of yourself. I went over this already, if I'm recalling correctly. But, let me see here. Substitute. You get rid of a quarter of your HP for a substitute. Hmm. It would be useful on Sandslash since the... Since his, uh, her, since her, um, since her special defense is not that great. Could be useful on Mr. Mime since its defense is not very good. Could be useful on any of these Pokemon, but I like the movesets just the way they are, so let's not do that. Here's the fighting dojo. Hey, are you the gym leader here? Don't you th go thinking you can stand up to us or I'll have to hurt you. Hi. Hi there. Team Rocket, we've been cracking down on them, but they keep coming. Uh, if you crack down on them, why are they here in the town? X Special Defend. By going back behind there. If, the, if you're cracking down on them, why are they in here? Why are they here? Why are you not doing anything about it when you're standing in there? Okay. Well, you have an autograph. I'm super jealous of Lieutenant Search's autograph. Lorelei of the Elite Four. Nobody knows the gym leader of the Vermit Viridian City gym is. It's like a mystery. I'm so curious. Hi there. I really admire Bruno of the Elite Four. He's a fighting type expert and super buff, too. He is, actually. He's a pretty good gym leader. Uh, pff, gym leader? Hardly a compliment if you're an Elite Four member. He's a really good Elite Four member. That's what I was trying to say. Alright. Alright. With all that said and done, I think this is where we will end it off. So, with all this said and done, next time on Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, we go to the building that's awfully dreaded in a lot of Pokemon Let's Plays. The Self Company. See you guys then.